Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish. And in today's video, I am going to be doing, uh, I'm using up supply that I currently have on hand and that I need to use, so uh, so not to be wasteful. Uh, so it's easy, it's totally something you can do any time of year. It's be perfect in the fall. Um, I'm doing this in the winter time, but because um, I'm using up supply, like I said. So I have a bazillion apples on hand, and what better thing to do with apples is to make some apple butter. It's my first time ever making it, so I'm excited. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let me show you the recipe, and I know it's going to be delicious. So as you can see, I have a whole parcel of apples. These aren't even all of them, so I have more if needed. Um, that uh, now I'm going to enlist some help from Main Squeeze, and we're going to peel them and chop them up and get them ready to uh, put in the Dutch oven. All right, so I've got the apples chopped up. That took forever, and I am a apple juicy mess. I'm going to dump them right into my Dutch oven. Oh, wow. It's a lot of apples. And I'm actually going to pour. Um, so this is my seasoning. It's brown sugar. Uh, about a half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, three or a tablespoon of uh, one tablespoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons of um, nutmeg. And um, we're supposed to add cloves, but I don't have any. And interestingly enough, neither did Walmart uh, today. So go figure. So I'm going to just incorporate these in, stir them up in my Dutch oven, and then I'm going to add um, one cup of water to the mix, and then um, cook it for about 45 minutes, or try to bring it to a boil for about 45 minutes. And then I'm going to give it a check, and um, then um, we'll go from there. So let me get this stuff incorporated. All right, so here is uh, my seasoning incorporated, and I put a cup of water in the bottom. I'm going to put my lid on my Dutch oven about halfway, and I have my heat at medium. I'm going to try to get this to boil, and then boil for about 40 minutes. So I just noticed that it was boiling. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. I'm gonna give this a stir and then I'm gonna let this um, simmer and cook down for about another 30 minutes. All right, so it's been cooking about uh, 40 minutes. I'm gonna just take this off the heat right now and the next step is um, I'm going to use the immersion blender to um, to mash my apples up kind of like a puree So now it's all smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can do this with um, like a potato masher or, or um, a blender if you have one available. Um, but now that it's all smooth, I'm gonna do a quick um, taste to make sure the spices are right. Mm, that's good. Yeah, I think that's spot on. All right, and I'm going to put this actually right back on the heat again. Don't forget when you're using your cast iron, it's hot. <laughs> so make sure you use your protective gear. And I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. Woo! Yep. I'm going to turn that heat down like I just did. To hopefully um, eliminate oh my <laughs> all right so <laughs> um, before you put it back on your heat supply make sure you turn down that heat supply and maybe um, have uh, a spoon ready to stir 
um, so you don't have a volcano like I just did that was uh, going all over my kitchen. And uh, it's currently also on my phone. I just noticed how funny. But yeah, we're gonna um, keep this cooking on low so it can reduce and the uh, flavors can do their thing for um, about the next three hours or so. So um, I'll be coming in and, and uh, giving it a stir every once in a while. And um, yeah, then we'll go on and hopefully have a really yummy apple butter in the next couple of hours. All right, so this has been cooking uh, for a little over three hours. I did find a little splatter screen <laughs> to use. I wouldn't have, you know, the volcano. You can see that it's reduced quite a bit. And um, it's been doing really well. It smells really, really good. I did end up adding a little bit of um, pumpkin spice seasoning to it um, to help enhance the flavor. And uh, I, I like it. I think it's doing its job for sure. I think it did miss that cloves um, that I was missing. Um, but I think the pumpkin spice has helped enhance that flavor. So remember before, it's probably like this full. So it's, it's reduced by half so far. I'm going to let it cook for a little bit longer and um, just to see if I can get a little bit richer, um, a richer color to it. And uh, yeah, we'll be having some apple butter here soon. So the apple butter, I let it cook for a little bit longer. It looked beautiful. I did end up canning, uh, I think, three little small pints, I believe it was. And uh, honestly, I don't even have any to show on video. It was delicious. I did give a little bit of away. Um, we used it on cornbread and just regular bread. Just eat it. It was so good. Sorry, I didn't catch any on film. You know, I was just living life at the time. But it was really good. I totally suggest you guys try it. And otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh... You know, don't forget to give me a like, give me a comment. If you've already, if you've cooked your own apple butter and you try some different spices, please post in the comments below what they were and how it tasted. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next Saturday at 8 a.m., bye.